Hi, my name is Jeremy Lacornu and I'm the Digital Learning Coordinator at Brighton Secondary School. I've had a very exciting last couple of years and I'm absolutely loving it here at Brighton. In this video, I'd like to share with you my experiences in producing video lesson content for students. And I'd also like to talk about my recent trip to the US and the fantastic professional learning experiences that the trip provided. So last year in 2013, I started making video lessons and publishing them on YouTube for my biology students. My YouTube channel, which also has some instructional videos for teachers, is seen here. If I click on videos there, you'll see that I've got a whole bunch of biology lesson videos and also some instructional videos for teachers. So the concept of recorded lesson content um, is known as the flipped classroom approach. The main advantages of this practice is that students can have access to their teachers' explanations of concepts anywhere and anytime. They can also watch the videos at their own pace, uh, which means they're learning at their own pace. They can pause and rewind whenever they need to. It means that more classroom time can be devoted to going into more depth with concepts. Because the students are watching the videos outside of lesson time, the teacher is able to work during lesson time with students more individually rather than spending time on the traditional lecturing approach. It means that teachers can focus more on developing critical thinking and problem solving skills, which as we know are key components to the learning. Students also find that the video content is excellent simply for test and exam revision. My videos proved to be really successful. My students responded really positively to them and their results were improving significantly. The success was noticed by the local advertiser and the Adelaide Now website who published an article about the success that we were having. Here you can see a couple of my video lessons which were embedded into this article. And yep, a silly photo of me and one of my students. I was also inspired by another online YouTube teacher. Tyler DeWitt is his name. He has nearly 200 fantastic chemistry videos. And as you can see over here, over 60,000 subscribers. I actually made contact with Tyler through a startup website project he was involved in called Socratic.org. This is the Socratic website here. It's a website dedicated to providing a space for teachers to actually build entire courses and to post their video lessons so that students have got a one-stop shop to find all of the videos that they need. I actually got involved in helping them develop the biology section of the site. If we click on biology here and then go to the topics page, you'll see here a, a whole topic list for every subject you can think of in biology. And I actually helped to write the initial draft for this set, uh, topic list and then collaborated with other teachers around the world to refine it until we got it to a point where we were happy with it. Now, for an example, if we were to click on the enzymes overview, you'll see one of my videos here that I've posted on enzymes. The great thing about the Socratic site, if we click here onto my profile page, you'll see it gives a bit of information about me, but it shows here that my videos have been viewed by students in 20 countries around the world, which is... Um, it's amazing when you see those sorts of statistics uh, and I guess that's one of the great things about posting videos to YouTube is that you get to see that impact that you're having elsewhere. In July this year I was extremely fortunate in getting the opportunity to travel to the US and visit Tyler and the Socratic team. Uh, I met with the Socratic team in their New York offices. This is me with them here in, in New York. 
So we met and we discussed the future and the future direction of education and a need for a website such as theirs where students can access high quality video lesson content from teachers all around the world and they can also receive help in answering their specific questions. The team have big aspirations for their site. They're very enthusiastic people and they were really appreciative of my visit and my contribution to their website. But uh, obviously spending time with the Socratic team was also an extremely rewarding experience for me. I also got the chance while I was in the US to visit Tyler DeWitt in Boston, which is where he lives. And I was able to see Tyler's home studio where he's filmed his 200 chemistry tutorials. So up until this time, I was simply making my video lessons using an iPad app called Explain Everything. And it produces videos that look like this one here that you're seeing now. So the difference was, although these were quite effective and reasonable quality, Tyler's technique uses two video cameras. I'll just show you his studio here. This is Tyler's home studio. He's got a video camera in front and a video camera overhead. Uh, and the teacher sits in this space here. So what this does is it, it produces videos where the teacher is in the actual picture speaking directly to the student. And according to student feedback, this is definitely the preferred style for the lessons. So Tyler gave me a detailed tour of the studio. It was not as complex as I expected, as, as you're probably thinking looking at this picture. He was extremely generous and helpful. We talked about his experiences with video lessons at length. And the great thing was while I was there, I even had the opportunity to produce my own video lesson in his studio, which was a fantastic experience. It was the best way for me to best learn how to do it for myself. That video that we produced is this one here. It's called What is Diffusion? And if I just hit play, you can see. So this is the format that Tyler's videos are in and you can see so you've got the teacher up in the top corner here and then the explanation occurring on the desk down below. So obviously I left the US extremely inspired. I'd had a fantastic time and I was determined to set up my own home studio. And I actually managed to do so within a week of returning. This is my home recording studio. I'm now producing videos in the same format as Tyler's, which is fantastic. And I'm using them for my own biology students who are finding them really useful. This is an example of the videos that I'm now making. You can see I'm not quite there yet, but uh, in terms of the format, it's very similar to the, the style that Tyler uses. So that two camera technique is what I think is really important. And the fantastic thing about posting videos to YouTube is that not only my students are getting the benefit, I regularly get comments from students and teachers, in fact, from all over the world. The sorts of comments are things like this. And I guess reading this feedback is just very rewarding. It affirms the work that I do. It is quite a bit of work to produce the videos, but... Reading things like this is, is all the motivation that I need to keep going. So as much as I love using video content to enhance my own teaching, I'm equally passionate about helping and inspiring others to do the same thing. Recently, I shared my flipped classroom experience with the teaching staff at Brighton Secondary School. It's generated a great deal of interest and excitement, which has been great. In fact, the school is even going to put in one of these teacher recording studios into our new 21st century learning centre, the Bright Centre. I'm also planning to run some PD over the course of 2015 on flipped classrooms and flipped learning to provide staff with the time and skills that they need to record their own lesson content. So as you can probably tell, I'm very excited about this and I'm really looking forward to working with the fantastic staff here that we have at Brighton to develop our skills and make recorded lesson content.
If you're interested in finding out any more about any of this, visit my blog, jeremylacornu.wordpress.com. Here you'll find I've documented my experiences and you can find all of the photos and videos and, and links to everything I've talked about today. You can also follow me on Twitter at Mr. Lacornu. And thank you very much for listening.